Hello and welcome to GeoNo. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to overlay an image in Google Earth Pro. I hope this will help you if this is something you need to do or maybe it'll give you ideas of something you can do in the future for other projects. So as geologists a lot of times we like to overlay images to be able to compare the data of the image to the thing we're overlaying it on, usually a map of some kind. In this case I'm going to go to a place called Meteor Crater. So we'll zoom in there. We'll just type it in to find the place quickly and it'll zoom us right in there and you'll notice as soon as we get there the meteor crater is aptly named some of you may have been there at some point or visited uh, so you'll see it's a crater so you can see the depression as I go into a more 3d mode and it was created by a meteorite impact so that is why it's called meteor crater so surprise surprise right so before I overlay the image on here, I want to show you, I want to tell you one important thing before we get started. Whenever you're trying to overlay an image in any software, you want to make sure that you have three points of similarity between the, the image that you're overlaying on and the, and the map itself. So things that can be similar can be roads or buildings or intersections of roads, anything that's stationary that's been there for long enough and that has a precise point where you can adjust your picture. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So at the top of the screen, there's a button called Add Image Overlay. So Google Earth has made this very simple to do. We're just going to title it Meteor Crater, and then click Browse, and we'll find our image, and open it up. So when it first opens up, it is much too large, and we'll need to adjust it. So I'll decrease the opacity so you can see. So the way that we adjust the picture are from these green lines that you see. The first thing you could do is you click and drag the middle to just drag the whole picture around. This diamond will rotate the picture around the middle pivot. And then you can use the corners and the sides to be able to adjust the picture to the right size. So first off, I'm just going to shrink it down a bit to get it in the right uh, size. And then I'm going to try and overlay it as best I can. All right, so let's zoom in here and get into the details. So some of the things that we can use that are similarities are mostly going to be roads in this case. So here we're going to overlay our image. So there's a pretty good fit for that road. Another thing we want to do is maybe match up some of these dirt roads down here. So the dotted lines represent dirt roads on the, on the picture. So we can adjust it out to try to fit it to those dirt roads. And then it looks like over here it's fitting pretty well to this road, so we just want to adjust it a tiny bit to make it fit a little bit better. And then overall, once you use those three points of contact, it should be looking pretty good. So we may adjust this side one more time to make it fit a little bit better. And then just do your fine tuning adjustments as needed. It looks like it's fitting pretty well though. And now you can see your meteor crater with the contours on top. You can adjust the opacity as needed. And just make sure that when you're finished, you click OK so it saves your work. And if you ever want to get that dialog box back open, just right click on your meteor crater image overlay, click properties, and it'll open it back up so you can adjust the opacity uh, and, and change any of the other settings that you want to do. So just don't forget to click OK or it'll, it'll erase your image and you'll just have to start over from square one. So hopefully this tutorial helped you. If it did, please subscribe to the channel GeoNo, and I really appreciate uh, your support. And thank you very much for watching.